Hey everybody, this is part two to today's supplemental lesson on velocity versus time graphs. Here again we have the moving man. First let's say hello to the graph. Hello Mr. Graph, I see that you're a velocity versus time graph. We also see that he's going to start around negative 10. Let's click go and see how the moving man moves. I see that he's moving at a pretty constant pace in a positive direction. Now. Here, it looks like he's moving at a velocity of positive 4 meters per second. This makes sense with what we see so far because he's moving from a negative number to a more positive number. Now, let's look at the position versus time graph. Here, we see that it has a positive slope corresponding with a positive velocity. But is it really 4 meters per second? Let's find out. Here again, I have a copy of the graph. Now this is a position versus time graph. So let's begin. Here, I know this point at time 0 has a position negative 10. We saw him start at negative 10 meters at time 0. Here, this point is not so easy. But if this is 3, then we can kind of say that this is 2.5. So at 2.5, which is the time, I know that he is at position 0. Again, let's do our calculations. Let's make this 1. Let's make this 2. Remember that velocity is equal to x2 minus x1 over t2 minus t1. So our x2 value is 0 minus. Our x1 value is negative 10 over. Our t2 value is 0. Um, I'm sorry, 2.5. And our t1 value is 0 minus 0. So this turns positive, and we end up with 10 divided by 2.5. That's also equal to 4 meters per second. So we got 4 meters per second to here. In the moving man, we had a 4 meters per second positive velocity, and it corresponds with the position graph. Thanks for listening.